Black Myth Wukong Deluxe Edition upgrade. Yeah, so this comes out. Well, it's supposed to be out already. But right now, it's downloading, preloading. 130 gigs. What is happening with the games, man? 130 gigabyte available space. Even Elden Ring was 60 gigs. This is double, more than double than Elden Ring. This is going to be massive. I'm actually curious to... I really, really hope this lives up to the hype. And not just another one that does all the trailer and everything good. And then the game is pretty shitty. If you look, it looks pretty impressive, the graphic-wise. And this just reminds me, the battle and all this, the solo bosses, reminds me of just a little bit. Stellar Blade. I'm just playing that on PS5. And I've decided to actually get this on... Sure, I've got it on PS5. But just decided to get it on PC because I, I just want to stream and just talk about it. But there's some controversial stuff on this that's going on right now. So I'll be able to play this in three hours, according to this. The game plans to unlock in appro approximately two hours. 130 gigs? I have to delete quite a bunch of stuff, man. Really hope my computer, this whole system, can, you know, go run well with this game. Anyways, I just want to show you this real quick. Black Myth Wukong has some bonkers streamer guidelines about not using the game to spread feminist propaganda or discuss anything about China. Quick history for context. I'm a huge fan of um, Chinese ancient culture and stuff. I used to watch all kinds of movies. Back then, there were a lot of good movies. Jet Li, obviously Bruce Lee, keeping that aside. But all the, the monkey gods, I mean, there were a massive amount of martial arts movies. So I probably want to see this in a different angle. I really don't care about what's happening, like they say, the propaganda and Chinese stuff. But I never knew this would be as serious that people are even talking about this. Like it's a huge news. Have you tried sticking to games and gameplay? Exactly. I just enjoy the game and the gameplays. All right. Keeping all this propaganda and out, just like they're talking about the GTS 6 again. Man, every time I do a video on video games, uh, there's a little slight disappointment, if you noticed. You can't stand it, can you? I miss the old PC gamer days when it wasn't so viney. Those are 100% valid guidelines. Don't like it? Wait for the game to launch and do a review with all the feminism you want. You guys spread enough Vogue PS so I can see why you're mad. Good gamers don't care about Western activist game journalists stirring up identity politics. Exactly, right? I was surprised. Like, like I said, even this... Just because these get the click, these get the views. <laughs> Man. Good. But this is what I actually at least could agree with to some extent. Good gamers or people, well, gamers who enjoy gaming, video game generally, don't really care about any other crap, literally. All the, the politics or whatever they're trying to put in the game. And I believe GTA 6 is going to be something... Very similar. They'll, they'll be advertising. At, uh, maybe, maybe. It's not alleged. It's not out yet. Imagine putting all these ads on places wherever you're running and you're seeing all the corporation ads. Wait. Yeah, corporations, but it, they probably do exist. This is going to be a little different. This is like ancient China. There's not much of like cyber or futuristic. You see what I mean? This is literally feels like, well, I could be wrong. Like I said, I didn't watch the gameplay. But this looks like the Stellar Blade, the fighting mode. Pretty much, when you look at the bosses and the fighting mode. But I really, really hope it'll be decent. Let's get back to this real quick. Wukong has some huge win streaming rules. Fixed it. <laughs> Do you read the comments here? I'm guessing you don't, because just every single comment here thus far in support of Wukong and Hero Games. Yeah, I mean, what's wrong with the Wukong thing? Like, I don't understand. If the game is decent, I'll play the game. Oh, because it's it has this propaganda and stuff? As long as you have an open mind and you don't get manipulated with whatever message some games are trying to push through whatever propaganda is, then that's fine. Just enjoy the game. We are giving you your key so you can talk about the game. How dare you? Dang, every piece, every magazines, most of them I've noticed uh, lately. First of all, uh, Activision and uh, the Call of Duty. I wanted to do a video on that. I played Call of Duty, man. I grew up playing Call of Duty, Medal of Honor. These are these were one of the best games ever, FPS games. And now they're just doing all the locking and Activision did quite a bunch of stuff about the mods, basically, recently. Then people, the gamers are hating on Ubisoft. 
because of man this is wild activision ubisoft then you have a lot of the game basically magazines like it's just simple uh that the gamers are not enjoying the content there that's put out there by magazines like gaming magazines finally i'm buying it now <laughs> paste respect paste because we don't want your where's the tip during you don't it like seriously what is it that hold on game science is reportedly making content creators promise not to discuss politics for black what did they do in the game though is it this female antagonist no nation is perfect out there a lot of things i disagree with that china does but this i honestly completely agree with the devs and i don't agree with the drop of pc gamers like i just told you the mythical um the monkey god and all these if you have watched those movies you understand what i mean i really don't care about the the propagandists and stuff because i'm watching those movies i'm enjoying the fact when i'm watching bruce lee i actually watched his uh, martial arts because i'm a huge fan of martial arts and i'm gonna play this game i'm just gonna pay attention to this gameplay the graphic story to some extent where like but i wouldn't let it affect me on the next level if he's trying to manipulate me right i need all your understand you think you're the majority opinion humanity ideology is that dang bro it's just bonkers to ask a game reviewer not to talk about unrelated controversial radical political ideology so bonkers i mean it's, it's a bonkers in every possible aspect like <laughs> you can talk about whatever if someone wants to discuss it let them discuss if someone wants to play the game let them play the game i mean people can make their own choices right as long as it doesn't hurt someone else i guess anyways i'm excited i've been just working all day creating videos and stuff on the other stuff other stuff so i'm gonna keep jibber jabber so let this game come out and if you're on twitch neurogex7 catch me there how about that yeah <laughs> i'm gonna be streaming very soon all right peace man